Hi, I'm Vita Clocky with Vitas Collectibles and I'm here today to introduce you to a new product that I have worked on and refined. Um, uh, it's called Glow Glass Ice and I'd like to demonstrate how you use that today. Glow Glass Ice is a great product to use on your Christmas ornaments to enhance the snow scenes and also on your jewelry pieces and to give effects on petals or highlights on your leaves and flowers. There are two ways to use the glow glass. If you want your background to stay white, you can use uh, enamel, non-ping, which is white, and apply that to the area that you want to sprinkle the glass on. Now if I want this roof to be stay white, that's where I would apply the glow glass. and the Christmas tree would be a beautiful place to apply some enamel. To pour the glow glass, the best method is to use a coffee filter. and at the end you can pour what you don't use back into the container. Now if I want my background colors to show like in these trees maybe I don't want to cover them with white. I would use my water-based medium and I would tap that onto the trees And again, pour the glow glass over the trees and you get a real subtle icy look to that ornament. So this is the water-based medium which will fire more clear and this is glow glass ice over wet enamel which is white. And I will continue on with these. When these are finished, can be fired at 017. And all the impurities in the glow glass fire away. And they will reflect when ambient light hits it or Christmas lights hit that, uh, this, your Christmas ornaments will sparkle and light up just like magic. This ornament is an example of using the glow glass. I tr after this ornament was fired with the lusters, I continued with wet non-paying enamel all the way around and I also used a stylist and applied my water-based medium to the stars and then of course I dumped the glow glass ice onto that and fired at 017 and after it was finished of course um, the Swarovski crystals were added. This ornament's another example very subtle it is the white velvet background that you can see in one of my other videos uh, with applications of wet non-ping and the little dots were put on with the non-ping and it was dipped in the glow glass and those pieces will will glow. This is an example of this vase. I wanted to enhance the edges just slightly. I didn't want to overpower the the flower or the design. I just wanted to add accents to the edges of a few of the highlight petals and so I touched them with my water-based medium and sprinkled the gold glass on and this was fired at 017. One of my last examples is a jewelry piece that I put a lot of glow glass on and a lot of non-ping 
As you can see the glow of the white enamel with glow glass over the top is reflecting in the direct light to give it a sparkle. The roof line and the evergreen tree are glowing in the direct light. That was done with the white enamel and glow glass over the top and the sides are water-based medium with glow glass. A little more subtle but still somewhat reflective in the, glow, in the glowing light. This is difficult to film because the camera is not good in the dark. My glow glass has the best effect when direct light is shined from the same angle as the viewer. Um, at other angles it's a little more subtle and gives you a frosty icy effect on your ornaments. You can get my magical glow glass at vitascollectibles.com. Stay tuned for more videos.